What's up everyone, welcome back to Cloak to Grandmaster. As you can see, we are comfortably sitting in Master League and that means we are only 500 MMR away from GM. Now before I get started, I just wanted to let you guys know that next week I'm playing in Homestead Cup. I decided to accept my invites. I'll be playing in a tournament in Germany, $10,000 on the line. And as you can expect, I will be doing a lot of memes. Sometimes I get comments like, you know what? Maybe you can win the tournament now, you're a little bit better. I, I won't. But I might be able to beat a really good player with like a planetary versus or ghost. And I'm not quite sure how I want to play it yet. Because I've been thinking maybe I should like pretend to play normal sometimes. And then sometimes do a planetary rush, stuff like that, you know. But I guess we'll figure it out anyway. Just wanted to let you know if you guys are interested. For now, let's begin. All right, first game of the day is against Skadi, a Protoss player. Now, I, I'm not sure if we played against this guy before. But I have some friends that are around this MMR. And I've seen this name pop up. Which can only make two things. Either this guy is very bad-mannered or a hardcore cheeser. Oops, I... Okay, I almost passed there an accident. <laughs> Didn't want to do that. So he's either very bad-mannered or a hardcore cheeser or both, right? Now, you know, I'm just not quite sure if I should be blind counter with a cheese here. I also don't even know how I would do that. Pro probably by making Widow Mines early, I suppose, of like a double gas. Now, cloaked against Protoss. How am I going to do this? It's always a little bit tough to make the decision between going for Banshees right away or uh, Ghost in this case. Now, Widow Mines might be... Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. I mean, I, we figured it out, guys. Okay. I'm not quite sure if he's a cheeser part. <laughs> but we already know that he's very bad about it. It's really funny that I was able to just, uh, you know, logically conclude that because my friends talk about him. Why would my friends talk about people that are not cheesers or bad mannered people, you know? Why would they even discuss those guys? Now, well, we figured out part number one. Now, is he also a cheeser? I guess we will see that uh, soon enough. I'm going to play double gas anyway because I don't trust him already. Now, maybe... Maybe that's a trick, guys. Maybe he's getting in our head. Now, I, I guess we'll see. I feel like it's also important with these challenges that I learn how to defend the cheeses. There's a couple builds from Protoss that are extremely difficult to defend. I also want to say from Terran. Zerg has a few less threatening things against Banshees because Banshees are good against Zerg on generally. But if I play against like a Blink attack, for example, or DTs, that, yeah, that's definitely going to be pretty, pretty tricky here. Let's see, he's going to harass me. Um, it doesn't really matter. I mean, I don't want to take the expansion on the low ground anyway. So taking some damage on this SUV is no big deal. I'm going to play double gas anyway. So he's going to see my double gas now. This doesn't have to be anything crazy. This is, this is a pretty normal TPP opener, actually. No, we need to, oh, wait, I can just attack it. I didn't even realize. I, I, my instinct was to run away because my SCP was low health, right? But then I was like, wait, his, his probe hasn't even healed yet. He took a, a hit that he wasn't supposed to take. Now, I think I'm going to go for a reactor straight away. Uh, he's attacking a full HP SCP, so he's not going to be able to kill that. He also hasn't recalled this probe. So all in all, this is a pretty good win for me. Uh, I think I'm going to decide to go across the map instantly. Normally... Scouting for proxies in this scenario makes sense. But, I don't know. I've had some difficult games, especially when playing on stream, where I try to scout for a proxy, but I find it a little bit too late. And scouting your opponent's base is just a little more of a guarantee. It's like, if, if, if there's nothing there, then you know there's something on the map, whether you find it or not. Now, this seems like a relatively normal opener. Um, do I want to do something crazy with my Widow Mines, perhaps? Oh, oh, that was bad. I thought I was... <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> doesn't bother me at all, by the way. He can keep going. It's, it's really not going to get to me. Uh, but it, it does suck that I wasn't able to scout. I actually wanted to YOLO pass uh, <laughs> see the tech. Platinum 5. That sounds like something I would say. But about myself. Seems a bit rude to say it about other people. But anyway, I didn't get to see the tech. Now, since I'm playing Widow Mines, um, I'm not sure if it matters too much that I won't get to see it. Because Widow Mines are... Yeah, I mean, they're not great against everything, but they're decent against most things. Let's put it that way. Now, hopefully, I, I can get him to walk his adept into my Widow Mine at some point. That'd be very nice. Now, I'm going to go for Banshees. Uh, I'm allowed to make five Marines here, of course. I'm also going to get a bunker up at the front. There we go. And then with the second Widow Mine, I'm going to be a little more adventurous, mostly because the Reaper died. I'm just going to go all the way around. Um... And see if I can get some information this way. I mean, so far it doesn't seem like he's being very cheesy. But I don't really have enough info to conclude that, sadly. No, I think I'm... Yeah, I'm allowed to make one more Marine. So I don't need to keep it on the reactor. I do need to make sure I'm not getting blink all in. That's the, the most dangerous thing that can happen to me. I'm going to put one of these in my main. Um, this is mostly against an Oracle. I don't... Oh, that's the wrong location. I don't really need it for anything else, but I do need or Oracle defense, of course. Four Marines would barely, uh, you know, do the trick. So there's a second gateway here and a Robo. That Robo is technically too late for a 4-gate blink, but I have seen a lot of guys do that. Um, 
you know, still well making the robo too late, so maybe it's not too bad. I haven't seen a third yet, though. Like, this robo doesn't make me know that it's a Twilight. This could also still be a Stargate with uh, hiding Phoenixes, for example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide a couple more Widow Mines in, like, the middle of my base. I mean, if he attacks me anywhere else, then that's, that's just unfortunate. There's not much I'm going to be able to do about that. He doesn't have a third base. This is very, very important. There's no third base here. I mean, if he's not going to attack this, I can just keep checking for a third base. I'm going to move this Widow Mine over here. Okay, there we go. That's a, that's a very nice scout. So we're definitely not playing against anything too crazy. I I just really hope it's not Phoenixes. Phoenixes would be a, a massive problem. Uh, I don't have, like, the ghost count to compete with that. I want to guess that it's Blink, but I, I really can't say that for sure at this point. Maybe I should send around another wind mine, maybe to do a little harassment. Can I get uh, all these gases up? I don't think the... Judging by the robot timing, the observer is not going to be in time to see my banshees. Now, it would have been smarter for me to actually check for the observer instead. Um, but at, at, at least I don't think these banshees are going to be scouted. I think I got the timing right there. Now, he did let that widow mine detonate. It's, it's possible that he sent... His, his observer back to kill the widow mine. Like maybe he thought there was an armory with that or something like that, you know. Let's see, I'm gonna try to sneak this widow mine in the back of the mineral. It's always a sneaky play. He might not see that because it's so far on the edge. Uh, and if he transfers probes to this spot, he might lose all of them. Let's see. Oh, it was Phoenixes and they all died. That is so beautiful. Let's freaking go, man. That is just awesome. I think I I want to guess I killed three Phoenixes there. Could have been two or four, but I want to guess it's three. And that is super, super, super important because Banshees uh yeah they don't really do anything against phoenix phoenix just killed them for free but now he lost them he didn't seem to realize i was going for cloak banshee so maybe he's not even gonna be in position to defend this here we go i'm gonna kill so many uh, the observer might not be anywhere near guys this is a massive play let's go and then i'm gonna follow this up by playing oh there's there's an observer right here so I, he is gonna kill this i'm gonna follow this up by going for nukes right away i think here we go and now i'm gonna do something that is undoubtedly gonna piss him off uh, I, I know my angry Protoss players, guys. I'm going to go for a second Banshee flyby. And th that is just something like, you know, he has Phoenixes on the map. I know he does. He has everything needed to defend these. So why on earth would I go with my Banshees again? You know, it's, it's the kind of move that people would never expect and thus uh, die to it. Now, I do want to move these Widow Mines a bit further forward. My biggest problem as it stands is that my army uh, has no counter to Phoenix Colossus. Phoenix Colossus does... Yeah, I mean, just to be fair, it kills everything I have, right? Ghosts could work against the Phoenixes. Banshees can work against Colossus, but not in the same fight. Because Phoenixes kill Banshees really fast. Banshees are light, so they take double damage from Phoenixes. Uh, and yeah, Ghosts against Colossus, I, I don't even want to talk about it. It just, it hurts. Okay, I, I, I don't want to see it. I, I am going to see it most likely, but I don't want to. That's all I can say. Now let's get a couple turrets up. Uh, it's going to help with observers, and it's also going to help with uh, Phoenixes, of course. Well, let's see. I, I I bet he didn't go for observer speed. Like, I'm not sure if he expected me to go for banshee speed. If he doesn't have observer speed, he can't catch up to these banshees anyway. Here we go. Phoenixes are not in position, just like I predicted. Now, I don't know where the observer is. That's a problem. If the observer is not here, then I can just fly around. Dude, these things are so fast. Banshee speed, banshee speed are insane. Now, I want to guess that the observer is chasing me, so I'm just going to keep flying around. I got a couple Widow Mines burrowed, but didn't really seem to be able to do anything. It's really nice to get a scout off here, though. So it just looks like a very big, maybe like Charge Colossus kind of timing, you know. I'm going to send one of these to the top. Now, how can I improve in this game? That, that That's what I'm not sure about. Because, I mean, I can expand. I'm not sure what kind of army I need to build to win this game. That's the biggest problem I'm facing right now. I'm going to burrow more Widow Mines over there and try to bait them into the Banshees. I think that's a decent plan. Let's see. There's a lot of Zealots over here. I'm just going to make sure to burrow my uh, stuff. Let's see. There's two Colossus. Okay. Wait. The, the, the Phoenixes aren't here, though. That is very interesting. Let me just go for an EMP. And then this one can go and drop a nuke when it's ready. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to cancel that, unfortunately. Nuke, please finish now. It would be the perfect timing. Okay. I saw the Phoenix go back. So then... Um, I'm going to move ahead and attack his base with my Banshees. Like, it just makes more sense. Let's see. He moved these probes away into the Banshees. There we go. That is just massive. That is a really cool play there. He's going to lose all the probes anyway because the Banshees are here. And now he's going to have to bring his Phoenixes back. 
which allows me to... Okay, he's going to recall them, but now I can attack this with my Banshees, and I don't think he's going to be ready for it. He's losing so many probes anyway. I don't think he can cast these. And there we go. He recalled the Observer, so now I can just kill the Colossus with these Banshees. Oh, this is just going fantastic, guys. Look at this. One Colossus is down. Second one is going to fall quite soon, undoubtedly. He's going to attack in the bunker, but that is not a fantastic idea here. I have all these Widow Mines, too. Let's do another EMP. Didn't really need it, but oh my god, this is just brutal. Everything is working out for me so far. Um, wait, I, I do kind of want to ask him a question. What about that micro? <laughs> well, I, I'm not even sure if he thinks I'm talking about him or me, but it's funny either way. I didn't even have upgrades. Oh, man, this is so freaking beautiful. What, what micro? <laughs> we got him. We're inside his head. Oh, I always made Helios. That's how excited it was. You didn't see it? <laughs> he was in position every time. Okay, yeah, no, sure, buddy. I mean, this is this is a very classic case of mindset mattering in Starcraft because he's so blinded by rage that he thought he was in position. Well, in reality, he was never in position. Like, I don't think he was in position a single time, in fact. The only time he was in position um, was when my Widow Mines walked into his base and his units were here, right? That's the only time he was in position. Now, I mean, at this point, I'm not even sure if he's still playing, but I'm still gonna nuke the hell out of him. I think I killed his Colossus there. Uh, I'm not sure where the Phoenixes are. Wait, oh, I still have the Widow Mines here. Here we go. Yes, please, let's do it. Oh, uh, here we go, guys, all of them? Oh, almost all, that would have been super nice. Maybe I killed an Observer. I'm not sure if I did. Wait, I don't even see the Observer, actually. Where the hell is that? Okay, wait, maybe some more? Ah, oh, he's not even gonna try. There we go, guys. This is just beautiful karma. A very bad-mannered Protoss player put in his place. Who doesn't love to see it? Especially because he was BMing me from the start without even having played the game. Like, frustration from losing, I kind of get it. Just being a, a nasty human and insulting your opponents from the start, that that's a whole nother level. And this game was just awesome. The Banshees worked out. The Widomites did their job. The Ghosts, the Nukes. The Nukes always probes walked through the Banshees. Just an absolutely awesome warm-up game. Let's go to game number two. All right, game number two is against another Protoss player, 4.5k. Now, I, I have a feeling this guy is not going to be uh, of quite... Yeah, exactly. Not, not quite going to be of the same personality as the last guy, which is funny sometimes, but you can also overdose on salt, right? So you have to take it, uh, take it easy. Now, the last game, it... I feel like we got a little lucky because Phoenix Colossus, like I said, it's not a composition that we can beat straight up. But something that really gave me a ton of momentum was his Phoenixes flying into my Widow Mines. Because he had five Phoenixes and after I think he had one. And that allowed my Banshees to wreak havoc. He had to rebuild all the Phoenixes, delaying the rest of his tech. So, I mean, we got a little lucky. Uh, maybe unlucky in the builder, so I, it kind of balances out. But this game is definitely going to be something different. Phoenix Colossus is not something uh, you see very often, to be honest. Like, I, I see it quite rarely. I feel like most people just play their their blink openers 80% of the time. Uh, which could be easier or, or way harder for me, depending on exactly what they do. I always talk about the dreaded 4-gate blink build where, you know, they have like a 5-minute prism all-in with 10 stalkers and blink. And in my challenges, just to um, give you guys like a reference point, in my challenges at 5 minutes, I will usually have two Banshees and four Widow Mines or something, you know. So if there's 10 Stalkers with Blink and a Prism in my base, you, you just can't defeat that. The only way I could possibly win is if they fully Blink and take full Splash damage from all my Widow Mines. Or sometimes maybe if, let's say they react poorly to the Banshees and decide to go all the way back home, maybe imagining I have a tank at home, which I'm obviously not allowed to build, but they don't know that. That could also be a, a decent situation. But generally speaking, 4-gate blink, if they just go for it, they, they should kill me. I've seen it a lot of times on stream. Um, also, also one thing, if you guys are not aware of this, uh, someone told me that I should mention it in the video, and it's, it's a pretty good idea. Uh, I do stream, and I upload videos on your Thermal 2 from the stream, and there I still do all the old challenges. So, for example, I saw a lot of people that were going to miss Battlecruiser Widowmine after the grand finale. I still play Battlecruiser Widowmine on the stream and on your Thermal too so if you really want to see that uh, make sure that don't miss out on that uh, that content for yourself now the probe is still alive so the first thing i'm gonna do here is scout for the probe i, I do feel quite comfortable with my double gas opener particularly since i'm allowed to build widow mines in some of my challenge i can't build widow mines and then uh it's you know i don't even know how i would possibly defend stuff like one heck can you imagine one heli and shooting a stalker like how, how many how long would that even take to kill a stalker Probably like a minute and a half or something like something very very extreme now i'm gonna keep the reaper here because the probe usually comes back I'm gonna make one widow mine that's gonna help me deal with the adept which is not always in time but sometimes i get some pretty clutch moments with these widow mines the, the best moment you can possibly have with a widow mine is 
it happens sometimes. The Adept barely stays out of range of the Widowmine, and then you can throw a grenade, and the grenade bounces their unit into the Widowmine. It's one of the most beautiful plays you can have. Okay, so there's the probe. He sees I have an expansion, which is uh, good scouting for him, but obviously not, uh, not the most relevant thing ever. Uh, for us. I mean, if he was going to prepare for a one base all in just based off a double gas, then he probably hasn't been paying attention to what the Terrans do against them on the ladder because he has faced this a lot. Oh, another probe. Okay. Yeah, he was, okay. Well, that's quite nice. It did seem like he was a little scared unless he just came back from a proxy and I'm misreading the situation. Uh, but it looks to me like he was scouting for a proxy. Oh, I need to get out. That is a robo. Wait, did he? No. Okay. Wait, how did that even survive? Did I just get saved by that Reaper grenade? How is that even... I'm kind of surprised because he has a lot of units and his probe was out there. So maybe he was playing uh, a little bit too safe here. Now he's undoubtedly... No, he's not. the guy. I lied. I was going to say he's undoubtedly going to walk into that widow mine because they always do that uh, when I hide it next to the command center. But I guess he is not one of them. I'm going to start uh, making reactor widow mines. Going to put this one over here. He did have a fast robo. That is something that is scary. Okay, here we go. I knew it. I, sh I should have I stuck to what I said initially. Undoubtedly, he's going to go to the Widow Mine. It's really funny. He sold this one. I was like, ah, I'm not blind. I see it. And then he went to the back of the mineral line. And he was like, come on, bro. Why you got to do me like that? Uh, now, the Robo is really fast, and that's scary. Because that could mean that it's a four-gate blink, right? There. Oh, thank goodness. There's a third. That's okay. Everything is okay, guys. Stop panicking. It's all good. That's our third probe, by the way. This Reaper is kind of going ham. I wonder if we can go for five. It sounds a little too crazy, but, but who knows, right? Imagine if we could go for five. Now, this is an important point. I need to save my next scan. Oh, I made one Marine too many. Oops. Uh, I need to save my next scan. Because the Observer is going to arrive around the time I have a scan. So if I mindlessly drop mules, the Observer is just going to get into my base for free. Usually they enter this point, so I'm going to make sure to pay attention right over there. I'm going to get some extra gases as well. Let's see. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's here yet because I, oh, it's still going to take me like at least 10 seconds to get that scan. The observer might enter a little bit too quickly for that. Let's see. Oh, is that another probe I can kill? There must be a stalker out here. Yeah, number four. Okay, we're getting closer, guys. We're getting closer. I haven't seen the observer yet, though. I hope it's not past my units already. Very possible that they just F2'd it back uh, automatically to deal with the Reaper, right? Let's see. Maybe I did miss it somewhere. It's just an easy trick to see the observers a little better. Uh, it doesn't always work. I have to admit, I'm not that great at seeing observers. I, I, I've had a lot of moments where I, I'd be in a video and I'd be like, oh, there's no observer here. That's great. And then there's an observer literally just clicked on my army, following me everywhere. It's a really good skill, by the way. If you're good at spotting observers, I think that's straight up just like... Uh, maybe like plus 300 MMR against Protoss. Like, it's super important. Okay, so our opponent is going to go for gateway style. Uh, that means I have to make a lot of Widomines and go for my Ghost. Let's see. I don't think there's an Observer here, though. He has, he has no gas. This guy's playing Mass Zealot. There, okay, there's an Observer there. It was on the, on the right side. Now, I'm going to use this opportunity to get my Planetary up. I think he probably... Did, why is there a Dark Shine? I think he probably didn't make that many Stalkers because he, he doesn't have gases. I'm, I'm convinced he was just going for uh, Mass Mass Zealot, trying to hold my push. Wow, I can't believe two Banshees are having this much value. He hasn't really been mining properly for a long time. I think I can save one of those, most likely. That would be uh, very nice. Wait, did he, did he skip Blink entirely? That would be that would be shocking, actually. Did he just not go for blink at all? I mean, he must have, right? Like, I I I would like to think that I just forgot that he blinked on my army because if he did, if he doesn't have blink, that's 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 crazy. That's actually crazy. Now I'm burning all these widow mines over here because he's most likely gonna walk over there. Obviously, at this point, I'm not paying attention to the observer anymore because you know there's enough to do in this game and. Uh, at this point, he already knows that I'm going for Banshees. Now, I am going to start making Ghosts. I need one more Command Center so I can really go for the 5cc setup. I don't have the money for it yet, unfortunately. But I guess we'll see. So, he does have a couple Stalkers, but this is four Banshees. Or, no, oh, it's not four Banshees, actually. I lied. It's just three. Now, wait, does he still not have a Blink? Why is he walking all these Stalkers? It, it looks so weird. Blink, blink on my Banshees already. Who plays like this? It's crazy. Now, he is still going. I was just making sure I had detection. I, I knew I was making it, but uh, sometimes you can't forget. But I do have detection everywhere, pretty much. By the way, if you guys didn't know, this is the best possible anti-DT. Making a turret with Widow Mines next to it. So if DTs try to walk into your base, uh, your Widow Mines just one-shot them and you don't even have to look. Now, at this point, we're just ahead economically and I haven't really had to do much for it. My opponent just... I think he just gambled that I was going to push him really early and he didn't make any... 
yeah, I mean, he didn't make Stalkers and he didn't make Blink, which I haven't really seen before. I'm starting to wonder if there's something else at play here, like a hidden expansion, maybe, because it does seem a little sus how few units he has. I mean, I feel very comfortable anyway, because I killed a good amount of workers, so uh, I'm really not worried about anything. Now I have six banshees with speed, which is really hard to keep up with with, uh, with just observers, by the way. If you don't have observer speed, which he doesn't, because with the amount of gases, he wouldn't be able to afford a robo bay. Um, he, he's not going to be able to keep up. So there's most likely... Okay, it's just zealots. Let's see. The prism goes down, looks like. And I mean, I have too many banshees here. He has to go back. I don't have cloak on this yet, please. Oh, no, it barely didn't survive. But he's, he's losing so many freaking pros here. It is beautiful. He can't break that at all. Now I'm just going to cloak and start killing everything in the main. And this is where speed banshees are awesome, guys. You need to make turrets against these. So annoying. Well played. I... I guess it was a compliment. First, I thought he was about to complain, complain but I guess it was a compliment. But yeah, here, uh, don't really want to be harsh, but the opponent's strategy just wasn't really up to par here. Like, at the end, he had a lot of observer stuff. He got blinked, but he didn't really have it before. If he did have it, which he should, he didn't use it, which would be you know, even crazier. Uh, but yeah, he definitely should have gone either a little bit more defensive or attack faster. He was hoping blindly for me to do a tank push, which is kind of surprising because he had a fast robo. He could have scouted that I wasn't doing a push at all. I was only making banshees and, and, and widow mines. But it is what it is. Another dub in the pocket. Let's go for game number three. All right, game number three is against Saint, 100 APM random player. Now, 100 APM is not very fast for a Masters League player, I have to say. Uh, but it's also not, not that crazy. I mean, not everyone can be an absolute speed demon. Some people are strategic geniuses instead. Or maybe he's just a crazy cheater. Who knows? Also very possible. Now, what do we do against a random player? This is always a very tricky for challenges where I like to open with double gas. In the last couple of games, you saw my double gas opening uh, looking pretty solid. Like, I mean, it's nothing revolutionary, but it looks pretty solid. Keeps me safe against early adepts and stuff like that, even though I'm not allowed to make too many other units than uh, Widow Mines and stuff. And against Theron... I'd probably go with something similar. Double gas, go for banshees. Maybe that's what I'll end up doing. But against Zerg, double gas is just absolutely awful. <laughs> so there you're, you, you start running into a small problem already when playing against random. There's also a couple challenges against which I don't mind at all playing as random because my build is just fine. Uh, and sometimes it's even better for me. Because I, I always say random players, they're typically a little bit worse than their MMR um, at the respective race you're playing against. And I know that I know that sounds sounds a little bit mean. I don't mean it that way. It's just like there's always the element of surprise, and random players also have to play a little different because everyone plays different against them. So there are gonna be yeah straight up just a little bit worse in playing my game, right? Like I'm gonna play. Let's say I'm gonna play Sky Terran. They might not be as good as controlling a late game Zerg army to deal with it. They're a little bit a little bit better at playing chaotic games, which you usually get if you're playing random, right? Now. I'm a little scared to be Reaper expanding here. I think I want to Reaper expand on the high ground. Well, actually, I'm going to scout him in time, I believe. Let's see. If it's a Terran... Maybe I should wait, because if it's a Terran... Uh, and I just... Oh, it's a Zerg, but it is a late hatchery, I believe. Uh, or did I scout that early? I mean, I definitely did scout early, but I'm not sure if it was early enough. I'm just going to go in my main uh, to be safe. No, no reason to take any big risk. Yeah, okay, it was a pool first. I was very confused. A Roach Warren 2. Okay. Hmm... I guess I will have to deal with it with Widow Mines somehow. I mean, it is really, really, really good for me that I expanded on the high ground here because this uh, SCV could have been killed by the Zerglings. And then, you know, maybe the Roaches make sure I can't finish it ever. But now it's 100% going to finish. But how do I deal with the Roaches? I, I do think the best weapon against Cheese is scouting. And it's very often... Oh, he's going to try it out. That is not going to be good for a Zergling count, my friend. I mean, uh, you know, it's a good effort, but it's still, uh, you know, going to cost him a couple Zerglings. If he got my Reaper, it would have been absolutely massive, but now he's just going to lose every Zergling. Now, judging by... I was going to say, scouting is the best weapon against Cheese, because very often they'll cancel it. This guy is not going to cancel it. Um, and I say that most... Most of all, because he uh, micro the Zerglings in that way. He micro the Zerglings, not to keep them alive, uh, but to try and distract me. So there you can see the Roach Warren is still going. Now, it is it is still going to be very difficult. I think I need to make a Starport. Um, and I'm mostly scared of Ravagers. I do not have an answer to Ravagers with my lineup of builds. You're thinking about it. I could have maybe gone for Fast Ghost. I definitely could have done that. Now you can see there is a sizable amount of Roaches on the map. Um, I'm allowed to make one more Marine, which is really not 
not that many. I'm gonna put a widow mine on my ramp, so maybe I can shoot the Wrath, which sounds decent. And we're gonna keep the I'm gonna keep the Reaper here. Maybe he'll forget about it. Just so I can see if there's drones, right? Like I'm not harassing him, so he's gonna be okay with that probably, but I wanna see if drones are gonna mine. And in the meantime, uh, I'm gonna fly this away so I can make a reactor uh, for my factory and block that with another depot. And this command center is gonna go ahead and scout. That's the plan. Now he can't really attack that way, did he? Oh, he saw it. Not bad. And maybe I can bait him with this. Yes, there we go. Wait, he's gonna that is not a great idea, my friend. I'm sorry. That is this is not it. He went way too fast. He's taking so much damage on the Ravagers. Move them away from the bunker. What are you doing, you psychopath? You don't have enough DPS for that. This Reaper cannot keep it alive. The Reaper stays alive. And yeah, I think my opponent has just completely messed this one up, guys. I, I didn't even really need any units to defend because he just ran into a bunker. He could have slowly killed every single depot here. Like, he could have killed every single depot uh, and then gone in, like, walking past when there's no depots anymore. Maybe you could buy it on the bunker, but instead he just kind of runs it down and uh, yeah i don't know i think we're just in an, yeah exactly we're in an absolutely massive winning position now uh he didn't have a good amount of drones like i feel like he could have tried it realistically though i already had banshee with cloak on the way third command center on the way as well and i felt very comfortable and it's going to be a relatively short episode but i do uh have an appointment to record something else now so i do have to call it for now but i hope you guys really enjoyed this episode we got some salt we got some awesome tv play and here a very clean cheese defense if you enjoyed it make sure to give the video a like subscribe to the channel and i catch y'all for the next one adios